guys, welcome to a brand new video and also before we get into it, welcome to new Deligracy Motherload crewnecks designed by me. This is the new drop you guys in a dusty rose color. It's made from beautiful 100% organic cotton, which is also vegan friendly. That is a thing. And it's sustainably and ethically sourced as well with inclusive sizes, extra small to 5XL. And of course on the sleeve, if you're like me and forget Sims cheats all the time, no matter how many hours you've played this game, there's build cheats here. So you guys can just check whilst you're playing very handy and it also looks kind of cool. I've also got them in gray here. It's got the Deligracy logo. So I'm so excited to share that with you and thank you guys so much for the support. And I'll also put the link in the description down below. But anyway, let's get into the new video. Also, happy Easter to you guys. Today, we're going back to base game, 2014 houses, and we're gonna be doing some more renovating in Willow Creek. This time we're working on Daisy Hovel, which is a great little starter home in Willow Creek. And just as a reminder, what I've been enjoying doing is also giving us a budget to match the existing house. So we're gonna have to be pretty clever with this. So what I might do to make it easier to renovate, I'm going to move a family in. Okay, so my Sim has zero simoleons, which means anything we do delete, we'll be able to spend on the house renovating it. So I definitely do want to replace these windows and we're also not going to be using any CC in this build either. It's gonna cost more than what you're able to sell the item for because the value does depreciate. So I want to keep things like the TV. I mean, I don't know if it'll make all that much of a difference, but right, things like in the bathroom we might keep as well. I'm gonna put in these nice base game saucer lights, which we didn't have when the game first came out. I'm also gonna get rid of these. And of course, when I'm doing these kinds of renovations, I wanna keep it like it's a real renovation. Like I don't wanna just bulldoze a lot and make it look completely different. So I try and keep the same shape. And I'm just having a think about like what kind of vibe we wanna go for. Do we wanna keep it a little bit of a modernized traditional vibe like we did on this Crick Cabana? Or do we, do we wanna go ultra modern like we did over here? Cause these are other houses we've renovated already. Maybe we could go for a bit more of an industrial vibe this time. Have a focus on eco, cause there's a lot of good prices in eco lifestyle. Bits and bobs, like not all of it is super expensive. So it's good for a starter home. I mean, we just made 500 simoleons just from replacing this fencing. We're making money off this. I'm also not sure about this kitchen layout. Like I feel like this, I love a galley kitchen. I kind of like the idea, but then again, I think an open plan might work better. Also that's $8 flooring, so we can definitely do better than that. Just by changing the flooring, we've just made 200 simoleons plus another 80. And you know, some of my most favorite industrial wallpaper is actually Batu. This dirty brown wallpaper in the gray, I think looks really good. I'm wondering if the exterior being this white color isn't quite right. Let's maybe make it a little darker. It looks so awkward while it's in this like half done phase. Honestly, these are pretty good sizes. I might like to just size down the bathroom a touch. I would love to use the base game industrial counters, but we're not gonna be able to afford them. Like even just having these costs a lot of the house budget. Bring the bathroom in a little bit more. I think it'd be good to just have like concrete floor in here. And this, this wallpaper definitely isn't working for us anymore. Oh my gosh, now it just looks like a concrete hole. Okay, you definitely need some wood in here to break it up a little bit. I wonder if we could get this laundry day sink in here because that looks a lot nicer. You know, if we tile this out, we could just have a freestanding shower head. Ooh, and a black toilet. One of you guys sent me um, a black toilet that you got put into your ensuite on Instagram and it looked so good. And I feel like it would be so much nicer because you wouldn't see lots of things on the toilet, if you know what I mean. You know, you could even have two doors going into this bathroom, but I guess doors cost money. So do we want to do that? Maybe not. Speaking of which, modern doors are, are pricey. Like the nicest one that I would want to use is 75 simoleons. This one, we could work. I just don't like the sticky outy metal bit so much. I mean, that's still nice though. Oh, it's really making me want to use a lighter wood tone. Oh man, I think I'm going to do it, you guys. I can't not. Oh, I kind of like this because we don't 
We don't usually do this looking, this kind of a look. I know, this is a different, even though I do like light timbers, this is a little different to what I'd usually do, surprisingly. So I think we can work with that and put it in the bedroom as well. You know, this is fine. We can just repaint it. Actually, how much is this worth? This is 410 simoleons. This one's 240. Okay, I'm sorry, we're selling that. And then can we get a cheaper bed than this one? We can, but I think it would be lower quality. Oh no, it's exactly the same. Well, let's have a look, which would be nicer. I mean, this is okay, but I think this one's actually fresher and kind of nicer. It's actually probably cheaper to just have this $140 sink instead of this $150 counter plus the sink as well. Oh my God, it looks so cold and bland. I'm kind of sad now. Okay, so we've got the necessities. We've got a bathroom and a kitchen and a bed. Now we just need like a front door, windows, and then we can put in some fun things too. Or decor, or at least make it look a little bit like a home because right now it looks like a, it looks really sad. <laughs> so this door is really good because it's only 85 small ends and it's a big door. Like it's a moment. Um, also, I've got to think about this roofing. I actually really like the roofing. I feel like we could keep it exactly the same and just put in some industrial pillars. I mean, I think the roof will need to be extended out a little bit and maybe retiled. Oh, actually, this tiling looks okay. And I was thinking maybe a new roof would look better though. Let's give it a freshie. Okay, now this looks really blue. That's my bad. I think we need to charcoal this up. Okay, not too bad from the exterior. It's still the same house, just completely different. <laughs> the beauty of the eco lifestyle windows is they're only 20 simoleons each which is so good for a starter home because you can actually get lots of natural light in here without breaking your budget. The Snowy Escape bigger window is also really useful because that's only 30 simoleons. The only problem is I don't think it fully matches the swatches of the eco ones, so it might have to be slightly different. Oh, actually, we could go black with these windows and they would match, but then the door doesn't match. Oh, actually, the door matches, just the windows don't. But I suppose that's okay. I mean, you would think about these having been repurposed. You know what? I actually think it would be good if the door was moved across a little bit. Oh, but then that does look a little strange, doesn't it? It really does want to be centered. Oh, now that I'm looking at it, I think the jungle adventure wallpaper would be nicer because it's just a little softer and kind of goes with the lighter theme, maybe a little bit more harmoniously. Oh, and that could mean that we put in some nice kitchen tiles here that could be repeated in the bathroom too. Do we want to commit to the green theme in a big way? Maybe that's a little too much. Eco Lifestyle does have a really nice soft green wall or even with like the line along it. Even the dark gray is really nice to just have a feature wall too. Oh my gosh, I keep changing all the wall colors. I really love this texture on the peach swatch of this couch. Like you can see that it's different to the other couches. I think this color yeah this color as well has a nice texture it always makes me want to use those couches i am wondering though because we have saved a little bit of money we have thirty five hundred dollars to essentially spend now like we gotta decide what we want to spend it on i think rugs and indoor plants are a couple of things that really make a house look so much better especially a starter home and if we have any money left over i want to try and get us a laptop but we'll see how we go Oh, and another really fun item is either this $100 jar that can hang on the wall or my favorite, which is the industrial DIY light. Like, I think this looks so good. Like, this could be their bedside lamp. It is a little bit of a splurge, but I do think it elevates the house in a big way. If we just get a couple of them even, definitely need a fig tree somewhere. This is really cool too. Like this, this is only 50 simoleons. Like that looks awesome inside. I wonder how much that industrial pack dining table is. You know, the one that sits up really high from the kit. Ooh, that's 400 simoleons. Ooh, that might be a little much. Cause we could get like a little table for 300. Oh, but then it would make the space look pretty cool. Maybe we should splurge. Splurge in. Oh no, when you start to see highlighted things that you have insufficient funds for, then I start getting really nervous. <laughs> 
I mean, does this table not make sense? Because we already have a bench here. By the way, these stools are only 30 simoleons, so we're obviously going to use those. Because then we're just like using stools and stools. I mean, another idea, controversial, is to completely get rid of these and just have this in the kitchen. I mean, now the house looks so big, it's almost like we could fit in a second bedroom. Ooh, but I don't know if we have the budget for that. I feel like the whole house needs to be smaller. Let's just have a moment to experiment. Oh, also, this is a great wall unit. This is only 25 simoleons. Like, that is so good. I just want everything in this house to look like it's really handmade, lost and found kind of items. I wonder if... Move objects on sheet. Check my sleeve for that. We could kind of make it look like the TV's sitting on the shelf because they are really cheap. Like if I hold down control and use the nine key to lift it up, is that too low? Okay, that, that do be looking a little strange. Oh, I mean, it does kind of work. Maybe, maybe it's up just a touch too high. Wait, I need to find something to compare it. Oh, okay, that's like, yeah, that, that's a good size. Then this coffee table's cute. I mean, we might even be able to get two chairs in here. And now the space isn't looking as like sparse. Oh, we're kind of creating a bit of a pastel industrial theme, which isn't really something that I've ever considered. Like it's so weird, like when you merge different aesthetics to create a new aesthetic, it's so cool. Like what we did with the goth's house. I've forgotten what we called it. Brutalist gothic? I mean, some people didn't think it was really brutalist gothic, but I thought it was. I thought we kind of invented our own new look. Okay, this is a 115 simoleon rug and I don't like it, so I'm not going to use that. You guys let me know in the comments down below if you think this pastel industrial look is working and if you like it. Still don't think we've found the correct rug yet though. I don't want to go for any more expensive rugs because I want to keep funds for the rest of the house. Maybe we can size up this snowy escape one. You can do that just by using bracket keys. It works. I think in real life, these rugs would not be practical under a dining table. But hey, in The Sims, we've only got dust bunnies to worry about and they're kind of cute, so. The other question is, do we want to spend any money on curtains? Like, I feel like we don't really have the budget for it. I mean, maybe in the bedroom we can do them because that would make more sense. I guess the bathroom too needs a little privacy. Okay, well, if we're going with pastel industrial, maybe we should use these jars instead of these big industrial things. Also, they're cheaper. As much as I love these, like, beehive, what do you call them? Honeycomb bee <laughs> beehive. Honeycomb tiles. We better go with the green just for continuity with our other tiles. And then in the kitchen, what can we do in the kitchen to make it look a little more lived in? Ooh, I do like these. They come in great swatches. Oh, I love that. It's very simple. I feel like maybe this is a younger Sim's first home that they had some help from their family to get, or maybe it was owned by their family and they were able to move into it and do some little renovations. <gasps> Wouldn't that be a dream? That would be so handy. <laughs> this is also really cool. And this is only 125 simoleons. Like this could be a major feature part of the house. Also, I don't even know what can sit on this shelf. Okay, this can. I mean, this is only five simoleons and it's pastel, so we'll work with it. How much is a tissue box? 25 simoleons. Okay. I also like the idea of this linen cupboard kind of being on display. And this window that we've had over there, I actually just feel like these long ones would work better. Sometimes I just want to find random stuff to put in and oh my gosh, I wish I could use this bunting, but that's custom content. Oh, this is only 55 simoleons. Oh my God, the whole place is just gonna be filled up with random storage. Oh my God, I'm starting to rearrange everything now. I mean, this is weird, but it's it's kind of cute. I mean, <laughs> what was my voice then? I mean, I mean, I swear the longer you spend on something and you just keep trying different things, like you just end up with a completely different look than what you originally planned for. And I think this is looking really interesting and unique and different to what we usually have done. Like this is this is a different house and I really like it. And yeah, it's totally a little unusual that has character. They need a bookshelf in the bedroom. Okay, what else can we put in here to make it look good? I just keep coming back to the curtains. Like how much is this? 100 
Actually, 110 simoleons is pretty good for this. Like, that's not that much. But maybe on the exterior of the house, that's really pretty. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to afford anything on the deck. Ideally, I'd love to do this kind of thing, but that's 200 simoleons. It looks cute, but I don't think it's worth it. Dine Out does have a nice dusty rose curtain, but it seems like a little overboard. Like it just covers it up the window, the nice window we have. Oh, we can just put the leafy thing up. Maybe if we get rid of one window, we can just put this on top of both of these windows. This painting right here, or this artwork, is 120 small ends, and I feel like it does really suit the house. I think it's worth it, but I'm just wondering if it's all becoming a little bit too wooden boxy. So maybe just less is more, you guys. Maybe I'll just keep it like this. <gasps> but I do know what we definitely need if we can afford it. Hanging plant, 75 simoleons. Oh, it's a lot of money. I don't know. I feel like, no, no, I'm not gonna do it. It's so hard to say no to that. I can't believe I said no to it. Ooh, this is almost better than the skateboards. I'm wondering if we can just squeeze in a little workstation. Because the cheapest computer, oh no. The laptop's a thousand simoleons. The cheapest desk is cheaper. Let's see what we can do here. I mean, great, we can get the Wabbit tablet. <laughs> How much do these sell for? Only 16 simoleons. Hmm. Okay, maybe there's just no computer. Skateboards can go in the bedroom. I mean, it can be ready for a computer and depending on what workforce you go into, sometimes you get given a laptop. So we'll just say it's ready. It's ready for a sim to put their laptop there. It's a little sad though. And they've got a TV for fun. We've got a bookshelf or like a little book stack here they can read from for fun as well. Maybe we put these plants here for 50 simoleons. Quite nice. I'm not going to put any plants around the house because that is just going to eat through our last few hundred simoleons. What's the last thing we could need in here? I mean, a skill building item is always nice. So we could do yoga mats, chess, oh no, chess board will require chairs. What activities can we afford? Some crafts would suit the house. <gasps> Florist table, easel, maybe an easel. All right, we'll do that. We can put a lamp in as well. Then we have 45 simoleons left. What can we get with 45 simoleons? Can we get like a little tree? Oh, we can get birch tree. Oh my gosh, we can get so many trees. Did the price of trees go down? I swear trees used to be so expensive. Or maybe we just, I don't know, I always thought they were more expensive. There we go, we got a nice tree in the yard. Oh, that's so nice. We can have a vampire tree. <laughs> I was gonna put some letters on the desk. There we go. Wow, we've used our entire budget. So let's have a look at our house. Here we go, Daisy Hovel redone. It's a little bit industrial. Well, it's definitely industrial on the outside, but when you actually go inside, you're pleasantly surprised that it's got a bit of a pastel theme going on. And I think this was a really successful renovation because, by the way, I just pressed tap to get into this view mode. I know a lot of you guys have been commenting, asking how I do that. You just press tab. But I feel like this is much better because we've got a lot more for the amount of money. Like beforehand, it was pretty bare and a little bit dark and sad looking. And now it's very bright and unique. Not everyone's cup of tea, but let me know if you'd like to live here. I think I would live here for sure. And it's still got lots of potential to be fixed up a bit more too. I think the eco lifestyle shelves really helped us out and by uh, clashing some pastel colors together. It looks pretty cool. The little desk area, definitely worth it. Then through here, we have our bathroom, a black toilet. I would love to put something here, but I guess you'll have to work up for that. We've got a shower, got a mirror, basin, even a curtain. And then this is a very simple bedroom. Like it's not that pretty. Like it's a good starter and it's actually got quite a few objects in it. Actually from this angle it looks pretty nice. So there you go folks, let me know what you thought of Daisy Hovel. Re... Reno... Re... Renovation... Make... What did I say? Renovation? Makeup? Lift? Is what I was about to say. Makeover! And also, if you would like to get your Deligracy Motherload crew neck, I will link that in the description down below. Nice and cozy and dusty rose and gray. I hope you guys really enjoy them. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you all soon.
Tata